Hey everybody, it's Justin the Hedgehog, and I'm back with some more Let's Play Sonic Adventure. And if you're wondering why this video is not really connected with the last, because, well, I started recording for the, for the beginning of this video, and it was doing good, you know, until I looked and saw that I had some frames dropping rapidly, which is not very good. Uh, yeah, and I like reviewed the footage to see if it was just like a little bit of frames, but no, it was a bunch. It was dropping like you've never seen before. So I'm probably going to, oh, since I can't really show you what happened last, uh, how would I just tell you? So what, what happens is, yes, at least we didn't miss that, that line. That is the best line ever. Um, but anyways, yeah, frames dropped like a madman, they just did not want to stop dropping, but all it really was, it was us going up the little circle elevator thing, and, uh, then we got to, okay, then we got to, uh, battle the Gamma, which is the robot. And sucks because we missed the one of the coolest introductions of a character ever. And sadly, we had to miss it. So, so, so sad. Um, but yeah, that's what happens after you battle him. It, the battle is really easy. It's basically the same. Well, yeah. It's just the same as the Knuckles battle. <laughs> Why did he say that again? Uh, oh. Recovery Initiating recovery mode. Boom! Explosion. But yeah, the battle is really the same. Like, you just spam the homing attack and you destroy them. And there you go. Then you unlock them. And, uh, everybody has a happy time. Okay. Talk to Um, so yeah, I think I covered it all, which, yep, now we should be, this is quite easy, we could figure that out, if you couldn't, then I really feel sorry for you, and, uh, well, I already know what to do, alright, gee, I wonder where, where, where it is, and this is just weird, why would Eggman design it for this, he couldn't even fit up there if the freaking, if the seat went all the way up here, and that's just weird to have you're sitting in the seat and there's a whole bunch of room behind you. But anyways, uh, flip the switch. And you can see transformation sequence. Hooray. So now this enables it for us to go, um, go across the bridge. And here we go. Uh, Holy! You see, Ronic and a purple thing. Uh, one of the probably one of the most hated characters in the Sonic fan. Well, I'm pretty sure some people like him. But anybody who is not a oh, no. hates that fool. Yeah. And so here. Oh crap. Yeah, there's probably gonna be not a lot of knocking noises. And I apologize. Yeah. And what's interesting about Big, you know, everybody hates him. But I'm pretty sure but his voice I'm pretty sure he shares his voice actor with Duke Nukem. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Uh, I'm not sure what the voice actor's name is, since I'm not a big Duke Nukem fan. But yeah, that's mentioned all the time. Pretty sure they mentioned that in, uh, in the most recent Nintendo Power uh, magazine. And here we go. Crap. Battle with Chaos 6. 
GTA said it early. So what you basically have to do is wait till Robotnik drops those and yeah, he does that, he swallows them, and then he does that. But what's also interesting you can do, you don't have to wait for Chaos to do that. See, pick him up, and throw him there, which makes this boss battle extremely easy. Not ah, crap, but you have to throw him at the right time. So you want to get some extras, hit him, throw it, throw it a little too early, doesn't matter. Hit him, and 41 seconds. Run in place. So yeah, that's that. That was that boss battle. If you have trouble with that, um, I'm sorry. Well, here we go. You may think that's the end. You you win. But, spoiler alert, it's not. Sucks. So here we go. We defeated that fool. Wow, uh, It's a good thing to know that's not the last time you hear him say that. Hey there, Knuckles. Freaking mouth, what the heck? And then he books it. And Sonic jumps off the ship. Yup. Way to go, Sonic. That was the smartest thing ever. And boom. Get flat. Backflip. Uh, I hate Eggman. Where's this? And yeah. Then that conveniently pops up and it's open, so Yeah. And you got the rocks flying off. Spawn out of nowhere, as you can see. And the uh, echidna sitting there chilling out, maxing, mm -hmm. flexing all cool. And hey, look at that floating ball of light. That light. Dead light. Tried to show me something. No. Of course, what do you mean trying to show you something? Of course not. There's a loud R now. Give you now you can play with big. Yay! Everybody wants to do that, right? I'm not looking forward to that. And so, uh, only eight minutes, yeah. And freaking, uh, dang it! I'm trying to get a nice shot of. There we go. That is the coolest thing you can do in the game. There is not one thing cooler. And this game is pretty cool. But yeah, it normally. What the? How to get a? Uh, yeah. And this thing, I think it only pops up when you're playing with muscles or whatever. Um, so, now, enough wasting time. We're gonna go to the Lost World! Yay! Get to the center of the ruins. And, this is actually a fairly long and length level. So, I guess that leads for a longer episode then. Hmm. Nice and and dang, that's cool when he reaches like top speed. Whoa! Crap. And this level kinda reminds me of not really. Not like the freaking not like the objects or anything. It's like the text, uh, I don't know, like how it's like out, how it, how it, the freaking hidden palace zone, hidden palace zone, and the neutron. Uh, well, no, I'm not gonna show that. I'll probably show that later. For now, I'm just gonna show you the regular level, the regular gameplay, because if I try to do all that crazy stuff, you probably wouldn't be able to follow that. So what we gotta do here is we come into this room. 
with this snake. And we gotta do some stuff, yo. And press the switch, raise the water level. And what we're supposed to do is... Oh, crap. Um, can't... No! No! Ah, uh, crap. I suppose that's what I get. For... Oh, God! Get that neutron out of here. Yeah, that snake is kind of creepy. Um, press the switch, raise the water level as the guide tells you. Um, holy, and then we're going to do exactly that. Um, okay. This level is really quite annoying. Because, oh, sweet. Like, camera in this level and what you have to do and if you just mess up like uh, if I try to do that I had a freaking well there was a strong possibility that I was going to die right there but I did not which is quite luckily lucky actually and so we're gonna go across here no we don't need that and hit that and yes holy heck yeah and if these these tiles look oh as you can see, like the, the I don't know, what is this, like turquoise, whatever you want to call it, like on the walls right there, you actually, if you play Sonic Adventure 2, you would also know that those are the same textures, same same pattern on the relic sh shrine thing. You know how each character is, like, they get like a flute and stuff, and you play it, and then stuff happens. Usually you use it to get the... Uh, lost Chow in the level. And let's kill this guy. All that for 10 rings. That was totally worth it. Oh, and I lost my electric freaking plasma shield. That's just fantastic. And this is. You, want, you don't want to go too fast because you will fall off and you will die. Whoa. I thought I was getting. I, was gonna, I thought I was gonna head into frame skip land there for a second. And what? Yeah, what you basically do here is everything's all dark. You gotta make a light. And go here, you get a shield, yay! And this way, you can either go this way, uh, that way, or this way. I'm gonna show this way since this is the way that. Uh, I think this is, well, I don't know, I don't know too many people who actually played this game, because everybody all plays, ooh, FPS's all day, every day, no other games, all every other game sucks, even though you can't really compare them, because they're two different genres, it's like comparing Animal Crossing to Pokemon, well, anyways, uh, enough rambling, and then we go down here, and that waterfall part, uh, if you play Sonic Adventure 2, I can't, well, you also, you, uh, you probably don't, but you, you might also remember a water, waterfall part in the, you know, like the last story that is kind of hard, and what the, uh, yeah, well, it's not hard, it's, it's, a, it's annoying. And if you come up here, you get a shield. Great. And what the? All right. So, I'm what you you can normally uh shoot. Well, you're supposed to go that way, but if you hit this way, if you go this way, you can hit the switch and skip the whole bunch of level. But since not everybody can spin dash like a mad fool, I'm going to be showing the regular way. All you have to do is hit that, and I could have. Well, yeah, it's not that hard to follow. I just spin dash because spin is it spun dash or spin dash? Whatever what the past tense of that word is. And freaking, and here we go. This is doing good, doing good. Could have skipped all this part, but yeah. Well, well, I'll probably show all the shortcuts. I'm showing like the mission mode and the F. Uh, here we go, and 
Fire man! Yay! And oh, 15 minutes. 15 minutes. 15 minutes! 15 minutes. Holy dang! It's kinda cool how you drop in there. And what? Don't know what the heck. And what the heck? Um, is that an echidna? And here we're back at that part that we were previously at. So I just showed you a complete, a freaking long way. And my foot is asleep. And crap. There we go. That's better. Uh, even your stuff falls asleep. That really sucks, doesn't it? Well, as you can see on the back there, there's a shrine, and we'll get a better look in the cutscene. But, yeah, it's a tall one, and the bubble shield kind of ruins it. But, yeah, look at that, freaking all up in my face. And, just look at the shrine. The ancient Akenda people can tell the freaking future first. Well, I can kind of understand that. Because, you know, they were the they were chaos as well as affiliated with them. But in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, hidden palace zone, you're fighting Knuckles. You see that shrine in the background that shows Super Sonic fighting Dr. Robotnik in his egg thing. Why? What's this place? Why would they well what that doesn't even make me This is really okay, weird. The future futuristic robot fighting this dude. <sighs> well, anyways, now that we're here, we get to see the awesome lighting effects. Yeah, this is truly one of the most beautiful parts of the game. I mean, just look at that. Look at that shade of, you know, oh god, and the chow. It's not chows, because it's chow. The, pl the plural of chow is just chow. It's like the plural Pokemon, like, of any Pokemon name, like, oh, I'm gonna go fight a whole bunch of Adinos. No, it's just Adino. Why? Yeah, the main reason probably why it's not Chows as the plural is because if you spell that, that'd be Chaos, and yeah, Chow, get their name from Chaos, the god of destruction. It's kind of weird. Well, I think... I think he's like really just like the god of water, but since they they made him angry, so he became known as the god of destruction. Since all really myths and stuff originate from old times, so they started calling him that, and god of water was forgotten. Uh, so anyways, rambling. Really just about the game. And hey, that's cool. Eggman. Yeah, Eggman. What's he doing here? Well, never mind. This time I'll get him good. Yeah, you do that, Sonic. All right. Yeah, one try. So next time on Let's Play Sonic Adventure, we're gonna be going over there and just. Just marvel at how awesome this looks. I mean, this fool. He, he, look, look at that. It don't get no better than this. Dang. If this game had a freaking screenshot function, this would, this would go hard in the streets.